everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the new 7 inch scale, the Flash TV series reverse Flash figure from DC Collectibles. Now, this figure comes packaged in the same style packaging we see with most DC Collectibles. You've got the window box, the figure's clearly displayed. You've got the Flash TV series logo. Off to the side, you have the name of the character, and it tells us this is figure number three in the series. On the side of the packaging, we have a close up image of the figure, and then on the back of the packaging, we have a look at all the figures in the wave. Season one Flash. Flash, Captain Cold, Heat Wave, and now Reverse Flash. And then it tells us the figure was sculpted by Steve Kiwis. Okay, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging along with the other contents. We get four different sets of hands with this figure as well as one extra right hand. And this right hand is just like an open grip hand. It really wouldn't hold anything. And I don't know why we only get one of it as opposed to two uh, a set. But as it is, we just get this one. For the others, we get a pair of closed fisted hands. And these are the hands that are attached to the figure when you first take it out of the packaging. And you'll notice on the left hand for each set you get this uh, gold metallic ring then you get a pair of grip hands for holding something then you get a pair of open hands with the fingers and the thumb kind of all pressed together and this would be for like putting it the figure in running poses and then you get a pair of hands that are open but the fingers and the thumb are more spread apart switch the hands out you just pull out the hand you want to replace and the hand's got the little peg on it and then you plug in the hand you want to put in and it should just go right in and it fits nice and tight. Besides the hands, we also get this chest harness, which you see used by Wells in the TV series. And I believe this is what he technically uses to tap into the speed force. You also see Barry wear this in the episode where he cro with, with the Supergirl crossover. I think he used it to boost his speed force so he could jump different universes. And it's done with a metallic silver, and then you've got this black circle towards the middle with some gold highlighted metallic gold paint. And then the middle is just open, and you got these little points that kind of stick out in the middle. Now this thing doesn't really clamp onto the figure. You can kind of sit it on there, but it's not going to stay on there tight. So just be wary of that. So for the figure itself, this is the exact same figure that we got. This figure was released in a DVD exclusive set that was available on Amazon.com. I reviewed this figure a few months ago, but it is the same figure. The paint applications are a little different. The biggest difference between the two is with the eyes. You can see on this uh, DVD version, the eyes are red, and then we just have regular eyes with this, with this new one. The skin tone is a little paler on this uh, new one. The on on the DVD version and then the yellow like the yellow in his costume isn't quite as bright same with the red on his chest emblem the wash effect is pretty similar pretty close to the same between the two figures and then you've got the red striping and this is the same on both figures that comes throughout the costume and then you've got the little red marks on his boots and his boots are basically just black but again the figures themselves are exactly the same you just got different paint applications between the two and of course you don't get the extra accessories with the DVD version. So you like the head sculpt better with the with the DVD version with the red eyes than I do with this uh, with this new one. I don't really like the way the eyes look and it doesn't look anything like Wells. Neither one really looks like Wells but I like the red eyes effect better than the regular eyes. The little lightning effect sculpted coming out of his chest emblem here. So this figure stands just a hair under six and three quarter inches tall. Same height as the DVD version of the the reverse flash and then he's the almost the same height as the season one flash figure I do think that maybe reverse flash should be a little bit more taller than than Barry Allen but as it is they're pretty close to the same height and if you're wondering this is this this reverse flash is a totally different sculpt from the flash figure they didn't just repaint the flash costume with the yellow colors. articulation you can turn the head to the left and the right but really doesn't have much in the way of back or forth movement with the head you can get the arm out good and it's got good rotation there there. Single hinged elbow, so it can only bend his elbow about that much. Does have rotation there at the elbow, no bicep swivel. Rotation at the wrist, hinges on the hand, so good up and mo down movement there. He does have a, a midsection joint, so he can rotate there. Really doesn't have much in the way of crunch, really no crunch at all, and can look back a little bit, but not very much. Does also have a waist swivel. Legs are attached with ball joints, so can do the splits about that much. Can get the leg forward only about that much, and then can do the leg back about that much. 
much. Has a thigh swivel, double jointed knee, so good bending at the knee. Has a boot cuff swivel, hinges on the feet, so up and down movement and rotation and a little bit of pivot there. You, you do have some pivot and then one peg hole on the bottom of the feet. Okay, so that's my review. Overall, I like the figure. I like the DVD one. Now, if you have the one from the DVD set, I don't really think there's enough here that makes this one worth buying. I actually like the head sculpt better on the DVD one and the extra hands and the chest harness, I just don't think add enough that really warrants buying another reverse flash. But if you didn't pick that one up, then I think you'll definitely want to add this to your collection if you've been collecting the DC Collectible TV series figures. So this figure is hitting comic and specialty shops now. We'll have a full gallery of images up at toynewseye.com. There's a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, if you haven't already, please follow me on my Facebook and or Twitter pages. I'll have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, I'll catch you later.